Marcus, thanks for talking to us. Of course, the postponed game at the weekend means you've had a considerable amount of time off, more than you regularly would in the season. How has it been? Yeah, it's, um, there was a, a lot of games in a short period and now there's been no games. So we're kind of, um, we've got it. Cambridge was off, thought it would, uh, we had a great week training and uh, the energy in the camp was was good going into Saturday and we were, we were uh, hopeful for another good performance, another three points, but um, yeah, just got to move on quickly, move on to the next one and a different team, different kind of challenge and uh, yeah, just try and prepare as best we can for that. A chance to channel that energy and, and as you say, that training into the Bristol Rovers match though, how has it been preparing for that since switching your attention to that game? Um, yeah, just same same as normal kind of preparations. Uh, we've done some work on it today, mm -hmm. and um, we'll be in again tomorrow and go over some some more details, and then uh, yeah, ready to to go 100 mile an hour tomorrow night. Um, your start of the season has been brilliant on a personal form as well. And how do you, how have you found it? Yeah, I'm I'm loving it here. Uh, I was getting onto my, myself a bit uh, the first few games, thinking I hadn't really hit the ground running as, as I'd liked, mm -hmm. but uh, thankfully the goals started to flow and um, helped me kind of settle in, settle in quickly, and now I'm feeling feeling much better about the start. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to, to fit into the team more, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just exciting, excited to play more games and hopefully keep this, this good form uh, as a team going. Named August Player of the Month as well. What does that type of award mean to you when you're recognised by the fans? Yeah, it means means a lot. Uh, gives gives a lot of confidence, um, and uh, yeah, just helps you helps you settle in. And uh, it's, there was a lot of a lot of good good uh, nominees that could have went to yeah. anyone, and uh, maybe the goals just <laughs> worked in my favour a bit because there's been there's been so many. Uh, Good players, mm -hmm. week in week out. Um, people coming in the team, out of the team. Like the squad's so strong. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, feel good about it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean doesn't mean too much. We just uh, want to keep doing well as a team. So mm -hmm. you mentioned the other nominees. How are you uh, finding playing with them in the team, and, and also the system as well? Because it looks like that's really suiting you right now. Yeah, that's what. Uh, coming in, I think I struggled a bit just because everyone. Um, I think that well, there's a few new faces, but uh, I think the heart of the team's pretty, pretty um, stable and yeah. have been here since last season. So everyone knows each other and stuff. And I was just trying to get synced up for a, a couple of weeks, but I think I've started to settle into it and started to figure out my role in the team. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's just exciting. I just want to keep playing as many games as I can and uh, contributing and uh, yeah, just keep keep kicking on uh, the way we are because uh, it's been a, a good start to the season we just hope and hope and keep that keep on going yeah under the lights for the first time in the league uh, this season at Portman Road tomorrow what do you expect from Bristol Rovers um, from what we've been told this morning uh, a team that are gonna gonna come and want to show that they're a good team they're not gonna sit off us and mm. let us do what we want, like a lot of teams will, will do in the league, and just try and hold on for a draw. Yeah. Uh, so we're expecting a high energy game, and um, yeah, we think it, it it can suit us as well. Mm -hmm. Teams coming out of out of slots and trying to press us gives us a chance to do what we're good at. So yeah, it's an exciting game, and um, hopefully we can put on another good performance.